Brendan, how are you? How are you doing, Stevie? Welcome here. It's great to have you. How are you keeping? I'm doing very well, Stevie. Damn very well. Thank you very much. No, just for the benefit of our viewers, you're going to explain to people exactly your role in the music industry. Well, I'm in the music business a long time, so I do a little bit of a uh, bit of music teaching, do gigs, live work, a lot of music therapy work as well. So it's all good. It's guitar, banjo, tin whistle, all that kind of stuff. And when you say therapy work, just explain that a little bit more. Yeah, it's basically for places like places like the Nagel Centre and places like Ray Newa and Cashel and uh, places like the Brad Keeve and Norson Home. So basically we go in and we play and uh, we give people some percussion instruments and they can get involved in the music as well. That's the important thing. They, they take part and they enjoy it. And it's acoustic mostly and a bit of fun and they enjoy uh, taking part in the music and they sing along a lot of the well-known songs that they do. <coughs> And this afternoon you're in Sean Tracy Park. We're in Sean Tracy Park today. We started this a couple of weeks ago there with Jerry. And uh, basically it's a social dancing gig. It's banjo and guitar, little drums. And it's taken off gradually, it's slowly building it up. We planted the seed and hopefully it'll grow week by week and they'll all enjoy it. I think the seed has already grown. I think so too. See, you can't keep a good band down. <laughs> That's it. I just love the banjo that you have here this in front of you. the banjo, yes. My name is Brendan and it's basically, if your name begins with a B, there's a good chance you'll end up playing a thing called a banjo. <laughs> and this is a four-string banjo, and it's a lovely instrument. Uh, it's well known in Irish music and has a nice sound, so it's very, very popular in Ireland. So, yes. Well, then keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Stephen. You're thank more you very much. Thank I'm you going very to go across here now to Tom Harding. How are you, Tom? Fine, thank you. Okay, Tom, you can just tell me a little bit. You spent a lot of time in England, yeah? What do you want me to say? You, no, you spent a lot of time in England. Yeah. I spent a long time, t- t- 41 and a half years in England. I was a heavy goods vehicle driver in London for 34 years. Tom, you also want to say hello to what family? Uh, Halligans in Kilross. And uh, to his wife as well. I knew her, her maiden name was Minnie Slattery from Limerick Junction. No, that name rings a bell. Huh? You, that name rings a bell to me because there was a... History of Limerick Junction, written by P.J. Slattery. Yeah, I knew P.J. Slattery that wrote the, the book about Limerick Junction and all that. I've read it all, and I knew all the places he was talking about, going to school in one yard in, in Solhead, and how he liked it and how he didn't like it, and what pleased him. He said when he used... He hated school, he said, and he used to love when someone died and they'd get an early out, day out of school. I read the whole book about him. Listen, it's been it. great talking to you, Tom. Well done to Tom. Well Thank done. you very much. And Caroline is there as well. Ty is also here with me. And, of course, we are also going to take in other people that are here. How are you? Hello. How are you keeping? You're coming in from Clarkstown in Latin. That's right. Clarkstown's all right. Is there anybody that you would like to say hello to here in Sean Tracy Park this afternoon? I'd like to say hello to Tommy Glacier. Super. And all your friends and neighbours and family? Oh, she's there in Emily. Well, you'll still say hello to him. Hello, lads. <laughs> well done to you. I'm going to have a chat now with Matt Kenny. Matt is also joining me. Matt, good hello. to talk to you as always. How are you, Stevie? Matt, just to outline the importance it is really here in Sean Tracy Park and the hall, it's in super condition. It really fits the bill, yeah? It's marvellous, marvellous uh, location in that for it. We're really enjoying it. Uh, the band is fantastic. Music is great. And the dancing, you couldn't enjoy exercise more than dancing to this band. Really, we would encourage more people from the town and that to come. There are a lot of people here supporting it from the nursing homes and they really seem to be enjoying themselves and have a permanent grin on their face from start to finish. Uh, Just one little story I'd like to tell you. Sorry now, I'm panting because they have me worn out. You have a lot of dancing done. Oh, they have me worn out. But I was dancing, just finished dancing with this lady and it does my ego good. She says, you have a beautiful body. Uh, Matt, are you serious? Oh, no, it doesn't stop there. She says, you're so sexy. Stop. I don't know when I heard that last. And she says, hop to it. Do you know? So 
Oh, it's made my day, really. You know? So is it fair to say you're now going to hop along? Oh, I certainly am. And, yeah, and love coming here every Wednesday, I think from maybe half one to half three. Yeah, half so I'd certainly three. encourage more people to come. And the two great lads up there on the bench. Marvellous, marvellous. And the music is fantastic. Such a variety. They're great. All I can say, folks, it's a wonderful place to be. It's Sean Tracy Park here every Wednesday afternoon. Talma is down there, and of course, you can contact her, you can contact uh, Caroline, you can contact any of the lads here in Sean Tracy Park. And well done as well to Tom and this wonderful lady here from Clarkstown in Latin. It's back to the boys for plenty more music. What are we going to have, Jerry? I do Sean South. Sean South from Gary Owen. It was on that trip in New Year's Day as a day on the weekend. I had a lot of love, a lot of tears approached a father in town. There was none from the land and the land of Oh, my God. 